How's it going guys? My name is Pintanki and welcome to vlog number 4 or 5 or I have no idea, I lost count. Now, I want to give you guys a setup tour but before I do that, I want to explain why I didn't play a horror game last, like, my last game. So pretty much what happened was, is I downloaded, like, a horror game, right? And it turned out to be absolute bullshit, like, I was literally just walking through a forest without doing anything, there was no music, nothing. So I deleted that, downloaded another one, and I was literally, like, I might give that one another shot later on, maybe my next video, actually probably not, it'll probably be like a couple videos later. But, I may be redoing that one, uh, right? So, I wanna, by the way, before we uh, I start the setup tour, I wanna apologize if there's any, like, audio switches, because there's gonna be a lot of, like, audio switching, it's like, one second is from my mic, the other second is from my phone, I don't know which one's better, I really haven't tested my phone's audio just yet, so... Hey, I guess we'll give it a shot. So now let's just switch out to my phone. All right, guys. So I've just switched to my phone, and let's check out the first thing, the most important thing: your seat. Because if you're gonna, you, if you have a setup like me, you sit in front of it for hours. So over here, this is my seat, right? And it's some chair from some some brand called like Pit Stop Furniture. Like right there. Let me just focus that. Okay, there you go. Pit stop furniture, right? And that's what it says. And so here's like a full view of the seat. I fucking love the seat to bits, right? Because I can just sit in it for hours. It's like, it's so comfortable. Up next, we have my keyboard. So this is my um, Logitech keyboard. I have no idea what model it is or whatever. I really don't see all the fuss about keyboards. Now, I know people will be like, oh my god, keycaps matter, and like how it forms your fingers and all that, right? But really, I don't see all the fuss. Plus, hey, this was just lying around my house, so I said, hey, why buy a new keyboard when I can just use one that I already have, right? It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, too, right? Over here, I have a Steel Series mouse pad and a Zelot's gaming mouse, right? Nothing too much to it, just your regular average gaming mouse. Right here, I just have a hard drive. Don't ask me why. Over here, oh crap. You probably just heard something with the audio. Because I'm recording with this boy right now. You can see it over there, right there, on Audacity. This is an IBM Think Vision monitor, right? It says it right there, Think Vision. And this is my right monitor. Over here is, I know, these are all different, trust me. I know that. Okay, I'm trying to work like that. It's a Dell monitor, right? Over here you see, um, that's the light that I usually... It's enough for me, it lights up my whole face when I'm recording a video or whatever, right? I forgot to turn that on because I'm an idiot when I was recording the first clip. So, over here, here, let me actually turn that on right now. And there you go. Over here is my third monitor, which is some old brand called, like, Hyundai. It's so old, it even says, world's first anti-theft. <laughs> right next to that, on my third monitor, see, this is my triple monitor setup. Right next to that, on my third monitor, is my Logitech webcam. I don't know what brand it is. You probably know. You can search it up. Just search up Logitech webcam, and this will probably want to be one of them. So down here, I think I've already showed this. Did I already show it? If I already showed it, then I'll just cut this part out of the video, or cut. Sorry, if I cut that part out of the video. So this is my blue snowball microphone. Really, nothing much to it. So yeah, that's just what I used to record. Now over here I have this this little thingy which used to hold a microphone boom stand a boom stand or whatever you want to call it but really I figured just putting it on the table is way more convenient for me since it's not all up in my face and oh god I'm sorry if the uh, video is a little bit wobbly and like out of focus and um, really it's just inconvenient for me to, for it to be right in front of my face where I can't reach my keyboard so now I'm gonna switch from by the way you may have noticed that the uh, audio has been like far away and close. I'll try to fix that in the, like, in Audacity, amplify the parts that sound really quiet and all that. So now, let's stop Bandicam, and you'll notice a switch in audio to my crappy phone audio. Boosh! Oh, wait. Boosh! There you go. So, now let's move down to the realm of my computer. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. So, this is my custom-built PC. I built it myself. I have the boxes parts up there in my shelf somewhere, and this is an i3, um, here actually I forgot the specs, let me search them up, 
So in my motherboard, there is an i3-4170 CPU clocked at 3.70 GHz. I haven't tried to over overclock it. Pretty sure it's not overclock overclockable. So um, I have 8 gigs of RAM. I'm running on a 64-bit operating system. Obviously, it's a lot better than 32-bit. And my fan is not the... You see the fan right there? This is... Here, let me move it a little bit closer. This fan right here is not the stock fan that came with the CPU. I changed it. If I can find it right up here, this is the box where I put all my parts. It's and it's not really that much better, but it has a bigger heatsink, which is a big bonus. It's an um, Arctic Alpine. I don't know what the hell that says, right? So yeah, my motherboard is a. Sorry if this video is a little bit shaky. It's an MSI H81M P33. I think it's a mini ATX or a mini ITX motherboard. Um, what does it say? Let's see. Come on, focus, focus, focus your fucking phone. Okay. Uh, here we go. It's a. I don't know, I'm too lazy to check. I'll just put a, um, I'll just put a, uh, God damn it. I don't know, I won't check right now, but I'll just put the, um, like, here, right here, is the word where, it's say, mini ITX or whatever, right? So, now let's move on to the back of the table, right? So, my cable management, if you follow me on Instagram, one of my pictures was of my PC that I had just finished building, right? And the cable management was so cringeworthy. So, I spent at least two to three hours, right? Hold on, let me just see if I can focus this. So anyway, I spent at least like two to three hours fixing it, right? Because my cable management was so shit. And my dad doesn't let me drill holes into my computer, right? Sorry if the video- God damn, I just kicked my trash can, okay. Um, sorry the video is a little bit shaky. So let's just, let me show you my cable management. So, over here, I pulled everything from, you see this? This is a DVI. I don't really use HDMI. There's a DVI here. Power, I pulled them all to the very back of the center monitor. Same thing over there. And my mouse, I passed it through here so it wouldn't look too messy. And this thing, if I can get the camera to, let me see if I can do that. Yep, yeah, you see it right there? So yeah, I pass it through that hole there. I was contemplating over here to bring this down through here and then to back here, but then it'll be visible right there. So, oh yeah, these are my speakers. There's some brand called Tsunami. They're probably a famous brand or popular band or whatever, and I'm just missing out a lot, right? And these are like some old speakers I found lying around, so I figured, hey, these are just temporary until I get some new ones. So. These are where I the, where I plug in my two monitors right here and right here, and let's move down to the bottom. So literally here at the bottom, I did this and it really worked. What I did was, I literally just took. See, you can hear the, my look, the, how loud my um, power supply is. So you can see over here. I literally just took everything, bunched it up, and put it together with zip ties. Right over here, what I did because I didn't have a um, a power cord box or whatever, just move, move my table back a bit. You can see that I literally just took the damn thing and just zip tied it to the back of my desk. So, cable management I'd say is fairly good for like two or three hours of cable management, which is really actually quite a bit of time. Cable management in my PC, yes, I did cut a hole into my PC, if you're thinking that. Cable management in my PC is not too shabby, actually. I did break a few ports that are just hanging there right now with the risk of falling out any time. Which is a fucking idiot move of me. But hey, I'm Mark. Otherwise known as Prince Hockey. So this is- I don't have a network card integrated or connected to this, right? So I have two USB network cards. This one, which I got off Amazon. Some brand called, um... Damn, there wasn't even a brand name on that. And here I have a Cisco USB that my dad gave me. So anyways guys, that's my setup to right now. As of right now, this is it actually, but I may change it up later in the future, who knows. Let me push my table back. 
God damn it, I'll do that later on video. Now let me show you what my old setup looked like. So I'll just bounce into my little brother's room in three, two, one. Right, so I'm in my little brother's room, right? And I had given him my old laptop on which I used to shoot like my very first like two or three videos, right? So if I just turn the camera around, oh, this is like probably really isn't my case right now. There we go. So if I just turn the camera around, this is the horrible, let me just take that out of here. This is the horrible thing that I used to record my videos on this tiny piece of shit right I broke the keyboard on it I took it apart and because like there was some issue with it when I tried to put the keyboard back on I broke one of the pins right so I figured hey just give it to him right so this is what my setup pretty much used to look like just this laptop sitting just right there on my desk right and I got this thing for like 280 bucks so you can imagine how shitty that is right so then I got fed up of the small screen and the small keyboard right so what I did was I closed the thing, because you can see this thing that bends all the way back, and then, that god damn it, it's hard doing this one hand, and then you can like, put it like that, right? So, I had that sitting under my desk, connected to, to a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth USB keyboard, and I had a shitty monitor like this one just sitting on my desk, which is why this is square, right? YouTube just takes rectangular videos, which is why there used to be two bars here that were black to compensate for my videos being square so that's what my old setup used to look like except that thing was down there and now this is my little brother's setup let's bounce right back into my room alright guys thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it if you've made it to the end then thank you so much smash that like button with the subscribe with oh my god I was just gonna say smash that like button with the subscribe hammer smash that like button with a sledgehammer hit that subscribe button comment down below what games you guys think I should play and I'll see you all in the next video bye <laughs>